everyone and welcome back to a brand new video, I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing a video and that's going to be comparing the XR2 to the MAA7 in Black Ops 3 multiplayer, so yeah let's get started. So in this video I'm going to be going over the stats as well as my own personal opinions on these two weapons and I'm going to be talking about which one in my opinion is better. Now I know I tweeted out on Twitter saying that I was going to be doing my variety map pack first impressions video, however the reason why I'm actually not doing it and that's just because I kept getting this error every single time I tried to load into one of the new maps, hopefully I'm going to be able to get this figured out and maybe on Thursday, Friday, or maybe sometime next week I'm going to be getting my first impressions. However, until then I'm going to be doing this video and that is going to be comparing the two main burst fire assault rifles here in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. So with all that out of the way, let's actually get right into the video. So I'm going to be starting off with the XR2 assault rifle and the gameplay in the background is of course with the XR2. As well as I just want to note about the gameplay, I start off kind of a bit slow like I die quite a bit. However, near the middle of the gameplay I start to pick up and actually start to get some kill streaks, even get in my Wraith. However, the problem was by the time the second round came in and I was going to call in my score streaks, most of the people left and there was only two people. And it wasn't until right at the end of the match and that's when more players actually start to join into the lobby. However, unfortunately, that's when my score streaks were already out and they didn't get any kills. So with all that out of the way, let's actually get right into the stats of the XR2 Assault Rifle. The damage profile is 40 damage up close, dropping off to 30 damage at a distance. Weapon class is of course an assault rifle, magazine size is 30 rounds and 42 with extended mag and it is unlocked at level 1 which means it's actually one of the first assault rifles that you unlock in the game. Starting ammunition is 30 plus 90 in multiplayer, maximum ammunition is 30 plus 240 in multiplayer, reload time is 2 seconds loaded, 3 seconds empty and 1.6 seconds fast, rate of fire is 857 rpm however if you take into consideration the bursts it's actually 439 rpm. Recoil is very low to low, wall penetration is medium, fire mode is 3 round auto burst and yeah that's actually all these stats for the XR2 assault rifle. So yeah, now that we got the XR2 out of the way, let's move on to the MAA7. The damage profile of the MA is 30 damage up close, dropping off to 22 damage at a distance. Weapon class is of course an assault rifle. Magazine size is 32 rounds and 44 with extended mag, and it is unlocked at level 55 in multiplayer, means that that is actually one of the last guns that you unlock in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Starting ammunition is 32 plus 96, maximum ammunition is 32 plus 256, rate of fire is 1000 RPM, however 591 if you actually take taking into consideration that it's a burst fire weapon, range is 38 meters, recoil is low to moderate, and fire mode is 4 round bursts. So now that we got the stats out of the way, I'm going to be talking about which one in my opinion is actually the better weapon. So now I'm going to be comparing the things that I actually like about these two guns as well as the things that I actually don't like about them and then I'm going to be telling you which one in my opinion is actually better. So let's get started with the MAA7. So to get us started, I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I really do like about the MAA7. One thing that I really do like about the MAA7 and that's going to be its very high rate of fire. It shoots at 1000 RPM and that means that the bullets come out of the gun really really fast and that's one thing that I really do like about the MAA7 because if you put on an ELO sight or a red dot sight you can make it a laser beam and if you're actually shooting a person in the head it can kill them really quickly and that's one thing that I really do like about the MAA7 as well since it has very low recoil in my own opinion it's very easy to get guys at long range and since it actually has some pretty good wall penetration you can actually shoot a lot of people through like thinner materials like for example wood glass or maybe like thin steel I tend to notice the really big difference between the XR2 and the MAA7 and that's the MAA7 is a lot more quicker and that's one thing that I really do like about it. So now I'm going to be moving on to things that I may not like too much about the MAA7. So there are really two main things that I actually do not like about the MAA7. The first thing and that's there's actually no auto burst and this is something that's in almost every single other burst fire weapon in Black Ops 3. And that is if you actually hold down the trigger it will auto burst for you. This is something that's actually prevalent in the Pharaoh as well as the XR2 and this is something that's not in the MAA7 and it's actually really useful because it means that you can actually kind of make it into kind of a fully automatic weapon and the reason why I think it's actually prevalent from the MA and that's just because it's a foreground burst assault rifle as well as it has a very high rate of fire so that's probably the reason why it's not an auto burst and the second reason why I may not like it too much and that's just because it's actually a very late unlocked weapon it's unlocked at level 55 which means that it's actually the last gun that you unlock in Black Ops 3 so that means if you actually want to use it and if you are a low rank it basically forces you to actually use an unlock token on it if you would like to use it. So yeah, that's enough of me talking about the MAA7. Now I'm going to be moving on to the things that I really do like about the XR2 and then the things that I don't like about it too much. So one thing that I really do like about the XR2 and that's going to be its very high damage. This is something that the MAA7 isn't really too strong in and that's the damage on the XR2 is actually pretty high. At close range, you can get it up to 40 damage and then dropping off to 
30 at a distance, which means that if you're up to close range and maybe over to medium range, you can get killed within one burst. So that's actually really good. Another thing and that is actually an auto burst. Like I said that the thing that I don't like about the M8 and that it's not an auto burst, the XR2 is, which means that you can actually spray the gun a lot more and you don't have to be more controlled when it comes to your ammunition. As well, since it fires a little bit slower, it means that you can actually get some more accurate shots and it's a little bit more forgiving if you do miss your shots. Now I'm going to be moving on into the things that I really don't like about the XR2 and that's going to be, I noticed that it's a bit slow. Like I noticed that for the M887, it's pretty fast. The XR2, it's kind of a bit slow, a little bit too slow in my own opinion. Sometimes I'll be shooting a person and then it takes a couple seconds to actually auto burst and then sometimes I'll die because the auto burst is a little bit slower. However, overall, I think the XR2 and the MAA7 are both fantastic weapons and now I'm going to be talking about which one is better. And in my opinion, I think they're both really close. However, I think it depends on what playstyle you're actually going to be implementing with it. If you're using the MAA7 and you want to use it at longer range or medium range and you want to pick out snipers and things like that, I think the MA is a lot better than the XR2. If you want to use the XR2 to run around a lot closer range, then I think it's better than the MAA7. Overall, I think they kind of complement each other for things that maybe the MA isn't too good at, the XR2 is really good at, and vice versa. So yeah, that has really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to leave a like, as well as subscribe if you are new, and don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. So that's really been it for this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.